Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the CSPD. And right here, you can see what type of body cam they use. However, what happens when they gear up? What you're about to find out in this video is definitely going to piss you off. Okay, I will be back to rescue if you don't get inside. Some of you may have seen one of my earlier videos where Officer D. Nelson of the CSPD threatened me with an unlawful arrest for standing on my porch. You're going to arrest me on my own property for standing on... Okay. If you haven't seen the video, links can be found in the description or in the info card up above. You're going to get arrested. For standing on my porch? I filed a complaint through Internal Affairs against Officer Nelson and posted an update fairly recently. At the same time, I requested the body-worn camera footage. I, mean, we don't, I don't care if you don't. Yeah, I know, I, it doesn't matter if you care. Most of what I wanted to know is what they said about me during their little huddle at the supervisor's rig. And of course, all the body-worn cameras were shut off as the supervisor arrived or prior to that. And that's totally fine. However, upon receiving the body-worn camera footage, I found out something that enrages me to my core. You see, this camera is really kind of a neat idea, have the body-worn camera actually built into the officer's uniform. This experience was the first time I'd ever seen that, and I was actually kind of impressed. It's a good idea. It probably made somebody a lot of money and cost the taxpayers of Colorado Springs a fortune. The cameras are built into the shirt and controlled by a watch. Starting, stopping, recording, muting, unmuting, all of that controlled by the watch. And as we all know, body-worn cameras were made to provide an extra level of protection, not for the police necessarily, at times they do, but mostly for us, the people that they serve. In this specific case, the police geared up with helmets and heavy vests, implying that they knew that in the near future, something could go down that the normal uniform would not grant them protection. So this is probably the time where the body-worn cameras are the most important, not only for the police, but also to the victims of the police. So before you see what I'm about to show you, ask yourself this, what good does a body-worn camera offer if it does not offer police accountability? So here you can see a couple of the officers on scene donning their heavy vests. Now what happens when they put these heavy vests on is it blocks the built-in uniform camera. The heavy vest has no camera of its own. So as these officers are gearing up to go into a potentially hostile situation, it blocks all video evidence of what they're doing. We do have the audio. However, what's the point of a video camera if you can't see the video? Now, going back to the initial interaction that I had with Officer Nelson. Okay, I will be back to rescue if you don't get inside. You're going to arrest me on my own property for I'm standing up? Okay. I wanted to see what he said about me afterwards. And here's what I got. It's only audio as the lens of the body-worn cameras are being covered by the heavy vest. But this is what we hear from Officer Nelson. After recording this video, I realized that I had left out a portion. Upon receiving the body-worn camera footage, I did not realize that the body-worn cameras would be blocked by the heavy vests. I sent an email to Catherine Wolf to ask why portions of the video had been redacted. This was her reply. The only redactions I made were to 5 seconds of Officer Nelson's video to blur his phone passcode. The rest that is blacked is either the seatbelt over the lens when they are driving, and when they put their heavy vests on, it covers the lens. Officer Nelson muted about 20 seconds of this video. Nothing else is edited. The video picks up at the portion of video that Officer Nelson muted. Yeah. No longer muted. That was crazy. If someone come out, he's like standing out there with his camera. Because it's my legal right to do so under the Constitution of the United States of America. I agree. I mean, it's for his safety. Gonzalez versus Castle Rock. The police are not responsible for public safety. It just gets in the way, and you don't have time. To, that's what it. Yeah. So leave me alone. 
I was over a hundred feet away and out of clear and present danger. This is Nelson. Well, you cried for help and we're here to help. Uh, the next door neighbor, he, he, I asked him to go inside and he keeps on coming out on the stoop. I mean, I'm, they're close. If the guy were to come out with a gun, it would have been a mess. And I asked the guy to get in and he totally ignored me. I said, go inside. He said, I don't have to. I'm, I'm good. I, w I wanted to serve him. Okay, I will be back to rescue if you don't get inside. Yeah, I'm thinking. You, no, that's it. I'm thinking. He, I'm thinking he needs to be served, or at least someone else talked to him besides me. Yep. Okay. Thank you. No, that's all. We're gonna get out of your hair. No, no, that's okay. That we're doing our job, but your neighbor didn't make things very easy for us. I'm. I'm because we couldn't have murdered your son with him out there with a camera, so I'm gonna probably cite him for interference with my massive ego. Well, he cares about JJ and, you know. well yeah. I'm sure everybody does, but we're worried about <laughs> safety of people, and he he won't. He just told us to blow smoke, basically. So I'm gonna probably cite him for for uh, interference with public officials. He should have known better too, though. He's an adult. I do know better. I know the oath that you swore to protect the Constitution much better than you. But no, I know. Is it? Uh, that's it. The guy's idiotic. Who's the idiot now? Well, I heard you arguing. I was like, Who are I'm gonna uh, tell him he he's coming out here with a camera. I think get back inside. So was the problem my safety, or the camera? Because before you said it was the safety, but now you're saying it's the camera. I'm a little unclear, Nelson. So we're gonna see what he says. I got someone coming to talk to you. Good, what's your name and badge number? They'll talk to you about it. What's your name and badge number? Come on out here, I'll give it to you. Name and badge come number. On, come on out here. No. Huh? Oh yeah. He, he's not a nice guy. Nice enough to not be the aggressor in this situation. You, would you cite him? What would you do? Well, I would explain to him, I get it that he called, but the thing is, is we're dealing with a possible armed gunman. He's outside his house. So my and we're asking him to move out of the way. So did you ask me, or was it a lawful order? Because words are important, Nelson. You're going to get arrested. For standing on my porch? Well, we'll see what the Paul unit thinks, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, I'm waiting for Paul that six. Way, uh, you know, we're kind of covered, so the Paul unit says, yep, side him, then fuck it. Okay, side him. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. He wanted so badly to charge me with something, anything. He wanted to serve me with a notice to appear in court for obstructing police interaction. But the point is, I was over 100 feet away, and I had been there for more than 30 minutes. So why at that moment in time did they want me not on my porch filming? Could it be because they knew that everything else on their film was going to be covered up? What would they have done if I had not been there with a camera? I imagine that this call would have ended very differently. We need police accountability. And for CSPD, if you guys see this video, you must put body-worn cameras on your helmets or on your vests so that when you don your personal protective equipment, we can hold you accountable for your actions. And it's time for bonus round, ladies and gentlemen. Upon really going through this footage, check out this little gem. I'm gonna leave you with this. I've, I swear to God, this is the end. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, I'm walking it. Yeah, I think the. I'm not doing my back. I'm not gonna screw it up. These two pathetic excuses for men. These horrible cops are are talking to each other, saying, since we had to don our heavy vests today. We shouldn't have to take the text test next week. So, CSPD, they do a test every now and then.
to don your heavy equipment, to show that you can do it, that you're capable of doing your job. And Nelson straight up refuses and says, yeah, I'm not going to do it because my back, I'm not going to screw it up. Well, maybe if you'd stop eating donuts and paid attention to your own health and welfare rather than worry about mine. And then the little skinny guy, he's going to walk it. Does this not bother anybody else? These are our public officials, our public servants that are supposed to be protecting and serving our community. They're going to walk. They're going to walk or just straight up deny doing their PPE test. Woo. All right. I'll tell you what. CSPD, you guys got some lag standards. Your body-worn camera division sucks. Your PT standards suck. And your officers need training. Fix it. I'm going to leave a phone number and an email to Catherine Wolf. She runs the body-worn camera department for CSPD. If you could, drop her an email, give her a call, and let her know that we want these changes made. The internal affairs investigation against Officer Nelson is still underway. It's been over two months. They're claiming that they need to watch all the body-worn camera footage as well as my footage. I offered them about 45 minutes and there's a couple hours worth of footage of their own. Most of theirs is blacked out because of the heavy vests, but I will leave links to those videos in the description. As soon as I find out what is happening with the internal affairs investigation, I'll be sure to drop you guys an update. But until then, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you receive all notifications. Follow me on all my social media, share this video, make sure this information gets out and that we get the changes we want. Leave a comment and a like, it would greatly help this channel and this video. And I'll see you in the next one.